We have had a lot of fun on this edition of the Sports Cubicle with the marvelous one, Dan Marver, Devin Single, Paul Shavari, and myself, Mike Mercado, as we got a chance to make our predictions for the 2022 Chicago Bears, along with our MVP Super Bowl divisional winner predictions for the rest of the NFL. So while we were having a good time with that, though, there are some serious stories, some news blurbs we have to get to on this edition from Tony La Russa, leaving the team with a health condition. Paulie, we'll get to that in just one second. But I wanted to get to this news that dropped from ESPN, and it has to deal with the Chicago Bulls. And obviously with the trade that Cleveland and Utah made, that Donovan Mitchell, Spida, is now a Cavalier, impacts the Chicago Bulls. The Eastern Conference is stacked. The Eastern Conference is the best conference in the NBA right now, and that's saying a lot because there's a lot of powerhouse teams. And the Bulls, who had a great first half last season, struggled in the second half, all because of injuries, because of scheduling, because of a lot of different things. And the bad news continues to roll. While the front office is going to run him back with a few new additions with Dragic and Drummond, they're not going to have a huge piece, at least for training camp and perhaps the beginning of the season. This comes to us from ESPN, Jamal Collier and Romana Shelburne. Chicago Bulls guard Lonzo Ball is expected to miss training camp and is doubtful for the start of the regular season because of lingering pain and discomfort following meniscus surgery on his left knee in January, sources told ESPN on Friday. While a source reiterated that Ball's knee is structurally sound after he underwent arthroscopic surgery on January 28th, he continued to experience pain while attempting basketball activities as he spent the summer rehabbing in Los Angeles. Ball will arrive in Chicago next week to undergo further evaluation by the team, but he is unlikely to participate when the Bulls begin training camp at the end of this month, sources said. And we saw, of course, when the playoffs started rolling around, was Lonzo going to be there? Was Lonzo going to be a stalwart of that defense and the transition game and being able to hit a three-pointer here or there and keep a team honest? And we saw as we got close, he was eventually ruled out for the rest of the season in the beginning of April. And he only played 35 games. And while he was a, a missing piece, we, got, we can't forget, we got to give him his due of what he did in the beginning, while he was such a big part of the Bulls being the number one seed for the longest part heading into the All-Star break, he was averaging 13 points, five and a half rebounds, five assists, shooting really well from the three-point line. And when Lonzo was playing, 27 and 13. And after that, they're 19 and 23. So it's, it's not a coincidence what they lost. And you have to ask Caruso to do something more. And now you're bringing in a, a, a Goran Dragic who's older. You're bringing in Andre Drummond. You're asking a Kobe White and an Ayo DeSumo to do more. And that's why this, this news is very troubling. I like Lonzo Ball. I think Lonzo Ball is a hell of a fit for this Bulls team when he's healthy. But the conference just got better. And you're still stuck in a position where you're waiting for the contract of DeMar DeRozan and a Nikola Vucevic to come out. I love DeMar. I love Vuce. I think these two guys, these moves made your team legitimate. They made your team respectable in the NBA. But now we have to see what this front office does with Karnas Chauvis and Mark Eversley. How do they take that next step? As long as you get a top six seed, you stay out of the play-in, you should be fine. But this is not good news. And Cleveland has now jumped you. Kyrie going back to the Nets. You know how good Boston is. You know how good Miami is. You know how good Milwaukee is. It's tough in the East right now. Let him get healthy. And let him come back when he's ready. And let it be. I'd rather Lonzo be healthy and ready at the end of the season for a playoff push or a play-in, in in worst-case scenario, than him in the beginning and miss the most important games. We want to know your thoughts. Lonzo Ball. Seems like he's going to miss the entire training camp and even the beginning of the season due to this knee, especially with the meniscus. We know it's only six to eight weeks. Typically, that was all the way in January. We are now in September. I want to know your thoughts. We're on Twitter at Sports Cubico TV. Don't forget, we'll be talking about Serena Williams, who lost in the U.S. Open after a great run. Is this it for the GOATs? We'll be talking about that next week. But we need to also talk about... What's going on with the White Sox, Miguel Cairo, Tony La Russa, the entire front office, Pauly Dangerous. We'll hit on that right here on WCPT 820 AM. It's the Sports Cubicle with Dan Marver, Devin Single, Paul Shivari, and myself, Mike Mercado.